a dog's keen sense of smell can also alert them to subtle chemical changes in their environment before even humans can sense these changes. In the case of Leo, this might have been how he was able to sense the apartment fire and thus warn his owner Brittany in time for not only her but all 30 building residents to escape the fire, even when the building alarms did not go off. Yep, we are about to meet a real live hero. Leo is in the house along with Brittany Crossgrove, his owner. Do you guys call yourself the owner, the mom? I the... call myself the mom. I love it. I love it. Definitely. Well, Leo is here, and let me tell you, what a brave dog. Your story, I read your story yesterday. Mm -hmm. Let's let everybody at home know what happened. You had just moved, and how did that go about? Well, I had actually been in Vancouver for three years. Um, I'm from Ottawa originally. Um, we got home on home, meaning Vancouver, on the 31st, on oh. New Year's Eve. I know. <laughs> on, on New Year's Eve. And... Um, and so it was two in the morning, okay. and um, he started barking very vigorously, not like a happy, let's play bark. It was more of like, mom, get up sort of thing. And these types of dogs aren't usually barkers, are they? Um, sometimes, some can be a little bit yappy, but I hadn't even heard a peep out of him, because I only had him for about a week and week and a half or okay. so prior to that. Um, so he woke me up so i originally thought that there was an intruder so i went into my living room to see scary yeah that alone is scary i know so i was freaking out a bit i tried to turn the lights on nothing turned on and so i went into my bathroom just every day i had my light on and there was dripping flames coming from the ceiling wow. and with a big huge black hole in the um in the bathroom the so i have no idea when it had started so and so his barking woke you up yes now in your building there it wasn't just you no, there was 30 other tenants and animals as well. Um, so, but the fire alarms weren't working. So I like to say that he's my little fire alarm no for kidding. the building. So I called 911 right away. Um, and then when I saw, when I looked up, the the fire just went. So I just got you out just of there. Really made it. Yeah, got and out of there. And you did get burned. I did. You yeah. Some burns. Didn't I did. You? Yeah, on my hands, a little bit on my face as well. Wow. Um, which was yeah, which are starting to heal. Yeah. But um, and this let, let's tell, this happened in December. In December. Didn't it? So yeah. it's not that long ago. No, not that long ago at all. So, um, yeah, he's only going on 10 months. He's only about four months at the time, wow. if that makes sense. Yeah, three months or so. So um, his barking kind of alerted you. Yeah. You get to see what was going on. Yeah. And then, you know, 911, and then... They came within They came within maybe a minute, and um, unfortunately, the people on the third floor, they had to... They woke up from the, the firefighters running up the stairs. Wow. So, I mean, there was no fire alarm. So if he hadn't woke me up, I don't know where the building or... Uh, who cares about the building? The people, yeah, the where, people. The, where they would be. But everybody got out safe. The animals got out safe, and I like to thank Leo for it. Oh, I think so, so too. I, yeah. And that's, that's why the, mm. Leo has won this award. Okay, yes. now, I have to tell you... He's like really cute. <laughs> he is stealing the show. He's really cute. Look, we're seeing some video here. So Aww. this is when he got his award, right? So Yay. we should talk about that. So Leo received the uh, Hero Animals, uh, hang on a sec, Purina Hall of Animal Hall of Fame award. Yes, so he was inducted into the Purina Animal Hall of Fame, right. along with two other um, dogs as well. Um, and so what happened was um, when the Purina PR team found out about me and Leo, um, they saw us on Global BC when we had done the first interview. Okay. And so they reached out to me on Facebook um, and told me about this Purina Hall of Fame. And then eventually after weeks went on, he made it to the top 10. And then they came, to, they came over to Ottawa, the whole PR team okay. and um, and then surprised me that he actually was one of the inductees for the year of 2017 so beautiful yeah so it's the 49th anniversary um, so next year's the big 50 yes. but so he was one of the last ones before but his he will always live on so as soon as you walk into the Hall of Fame um, it's his picture right there right so. at the front isn't mm -hmm. that beautiful mm -hmm. so uh, it's 49 years in the making that they've been having these awards and it's Mostly cats and dogs, but there is a warthog in there, I'm, I'm told. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, so there are 175 animals that have been inducted already. Yes, yes. And then next year they're going to be, um, you know, having a whole bunch of new sort of, just to celebrate their 50th anniversary. Yeah. And I'm told that people can nominate. You yep. can nominate if you know of a pet, whether it's Absolutely. yours or someone else's. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I mean, they're always scouting out for people as well. So, um, yeah, absolutely get your story in. I mean, we were scouted out of just by just by the luck of it, but there's so many fantastic stories, and I just feel if people can have 
a Hall of Fame, why can't, you yeah. know, animals and have and a Hall of Fame And what they're doing well. is they're, they're giving the, these hero awards to mm -hmm. hero animals who've saved a human life. Exactly. And, but oftentimes, like in your case, mm -hmm. it was a human life, but others had pets as well. So exactly. it can be a little exactly. bit of both. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I, you know, I was reading the stories yesterday, the other two dogs, oh, he wants to be on the floor. <laughs> I know. You funny a couple dog. of other dogs that uh, helped their owners, uh, one lady broke her hip. Yes. So that was, you know, that was another, uh, you know, story there. She, uh, hers was an Australian Shepherd Border Collie. Yes, and she's then, 74. Yeah. Poor lady. We had, we, yeah, she was with us all day at the Hall of Fame. She's a lovely lady. Really, yeah. huh? So yeah. she, her story must be really impressive as oh, well. Oh, yeah. And we met, we met her, her uh, little guy as well, big guy, big golden retriever, and just amazing. Wow. Amazing. And then there's Leo, and then there's Skylar, was a three year old. Oh, she's the golden retriever. She's, that's she's the, the golden one. retriever. Yeah. And yeah. then the other one is a five year old Australian Shepherd Border Collie. Yeah. Yes. So the lady was dragged actually, um, yes. like kilometers by her, by her horse, and the and the the um, her I foot her. got stuck in the saddle somehow. Yep. Or in the and then the horse dragged her for a while because yep. it got spooked. It didn't certainly didn't mean to. It wasn't a mean horse. No, it didn't no, mean no, to. not at all. It didn't and then even realize she managed to kind of get out, mm -hmm. but she was like bleeding and yeah. know, really really injured. And uh, the dog kind of wait, I now I, I can't I don't have my glasses on. Please forgive me. One of these dogs didn't want to leave the owner, and I think it was the lady with the hip wouldn't leave, and the. And it's a car went by, and she said, "Go get Mike." Anyways, and yep. he brought it. She brought a mitten, a mitten to the person, so yeah. that they would see and maybe connect it to. I mean, they're so smart. These they're dogs. so smart, and got her, got him to follow her all the way to the lady. And they, for both ladies, like if they hadn't, if the dogs hadn't been there within five to ten minutes, they, the, one of them would have froze from hypothermia, that's and the right. other one would have bled to death. So, I mean, it's they're so heroic. And so that's why I just love. I just think it's such an honorable thing to have. Uh, this Hall of Fame it's just so fantastic and yeah. I mean it's been going on for 49 years now so yeah and so and clearly we need to uh, to have these awards we love yeah. that Leo is ro roaming free around here yeah he's, he's doing very his comfortable, thing. comfortable. Oh, very I love comfortable. it well listen we are happy that you're safe we're yeah. happy that Leo's safe thank you so much I love that you've gotten a prize from this as well yeah. it's going to help you to relocate yeah I'm planning on moving to Toronto so it's going to help me start my life back up again as I lost everything well, so I was going to say now we only have a few seconds but mm -hmm. do you find that everything is kind of coming back to normal now now that yes, it's done it's everything's just, starting to calm down and um, just having him by my side has just been it's fantastic and has just changed my world well so. congratulations big congrats to Leo we think he's really adorable and we're glad that everyone is safe yes we're thank going you so to much. take a quick break now when we come back we're going to talk about the uh, the art center and doors open which is happening this weekend stay with us you're watching daytime